Hello, good day to you. Today, I want to conf I want to demonstrate using Firewall D to configure port forwarding on Linux systems. Uh, this is uh, actually part of RHC objectives. Uh, the, if you are planning to take the RHC exam, uh, this is one of the topics you need to prepare for. So, what is port forwarding? Or uh, port forwarding basically or means you know to direct inbound packets or inbound traffic from one port to another. For example, let's say we have port eighty eight nine nine nine. We direct the traffic to port eight nine 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 to port eighty, which is HTTPD. So the command we are going to use uh, for this demonstration is a firewall CMD. Uh, but I'll also introduce to you later how you can use reach rule. Reach rule is also part of the firewall D to create a uh, port forwarding. Uh, reach, reach rule allows you to do a little bit more comp uh, advanced uh, or more specific uh, port forwarding. So let's go to the terminal. I'm going to demonstrate this with two servers. Uh, I am running on both servers uh, CentOS 7.3. So uh, I have taken the RHC exam and uh, I used CentOS to practice for the exam. So uh, CentOS is good enough if you are planning to take uh, read that, the Red Hat uh, RHC exam. So uh, let's introduce the firewall CMD command. So we can do firewall list all to list our firewall configuration right now. Right now we have the public zone active. Uh, the services we are allowing right now is a uh, DHCP v6 client and SSH. We don't have any port forwarding right now. So, and if we need to get uh, some help from the firewall CMD command, we can run that with dash dash help. It gives us a lot of help. And uh, specifically, if we look for help regarding of forwarding port. We can use the grep and uh, gives us three or oh, sorry gives us four or uh, options that can be used uh, we have the list port forwards the hard forward port the remove forward port the query forward port um you can actually use the list for the list forward ports this uh right now we don't have any forward ports so we can see so if we need to uh, add a new port 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 so we see what it is required this is the option we need to use and the parameters we have to supply are the port the protocol this proto is actually protocol and most times it's going to be tcp the two ports that is where we are forwarding to uh, and the two ad address so uh, we will not be using the two address or uh, that is used if you need to forward the port to a different um, IP address <coughs> so let's use the hard hard forward ports option so like I said we want to forward the port 8999 to port 80. So the port we have is a 8999. The proto is TCP and the two port is port 80. So so uh, let's give it a permanent option. The permanent option makes it uh, available even when the system is restarted. 
and uh, let's reload our firewall D. When you use the permanent option, you have to do a reload for the or for it to take effect. So if we do, if we list our again, see now we have forward port. We have tells us that we have a, a forwarded port going on. So actually on this system, on my system server one, I have running here HTTPD. So HTTPD uh, is running on this server. So if I do a call on localhost, you see uh, it responded with this is server one. So let's go to the server two, which I'm going to use. Um, I, uh, I will do a call against my HTTP server on server one. So if I do a call normally on the port 80, it tells me that the port there's no route to the port to the host. That is because if we look at the firewall, we don't have any we are not allowing any HTTP D, any HTTP service. But what we have is a port forwarding of 8999 to port 80. So that means we can actually configure this to forward our port. So as you see, it responded because we now we use port 8999. So you see it's responded with this is server one. So <clears throat> that is essentially our port forwarding, but I would like to take it a step further so that uh, we can see uh, what else we can do with the firewall the reach rule so you say on my server one or uh, the IP the subnet is a uh, 1.0 my server 2 the subnet is 2.0 so <clears throat> let's say the the question or the situation we want to handle is we want to forward the port only only for IP address that originate from 192.168.2.0 slash 24. Let's say one that's what we want to do. We, want, we don't want the port forwarding to be available for all or for all for all traffic because right now it is going to be available for all traffic. That we can accomplish with our firewall day reach rule. So let us remove <clears throat> let us use the remove option so i'm going to change the hat to remove so remember this was of one of the options when we did the help <clears throat> now we say remove and we have to reload reload the firewall so now if we do the list all again the port forwarding it's no longer available and if we go to server 2 and we try to uh, call again on port using port 8999 uh, this is not going to work because we removed the port forwarding so we want to use the reach rule to forward the port only for IP address originating from or uh, the 2.0 subnet so we have to do firewall cmd and hard reach rule so hard reach rule then we have to do rule rule family we have to specify the rule family and that refers to either ipv4 or ipv6 and we have to uh, specify the source address so the source address is a 192.168.2.0 slash 24. So that means we are, this rule applies only to traffic coming from this subnet. So we'll say, uh, then we had forward port. The port we want to forward is port 8999. The protocol. is tcp 
and the two ports where we are falling to is port 80. We enclose, you see, we have to enclose the rich row in single quotes. And we can use the permanent option again. You see, it says success. And again, we reload. You have to keep that in mind, especially in the exam. Or if you use the permanent option, you have to reload your firewall. So now let's go to server 2 again and try to do the call again. You see, now it works again because we've added the rich rule. We've added the, uh, the port forwarding again. But the only thing is that this port forward is only going to work from uh, from subnet of 192.168.2.8 so actually if we go to server 1 this is server 1 and we try to do call on 192.168.1.8 colon 8999 uh, it says connection re refused because this uh this server does not belong to that that subnet so you see or uh, the source address has to be or uh, 192.168.2.0/24 so this is um if you are planning to take the exam i will encourage you to practice this and uh, keep it in mind or uh, you can do a lot of things uh, with firewall d or uh, you can look at the man pages of a firewall cmd so you have a lot of help or uh, but you can also there's another man page for a rich rule so if you if you want to know more about the rich language so you can look at man pages on rich language um you can use for uh, um you can also look at man pages on redirect if you need to configure something by redirection so or uh, and examples will be available for you or uh, to for you to, to use so um that is all i have uh, for this video uh, thank you for watching um uh, take care bye